Welcome to Row with Controls. Here's your host, Steve Rowe. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Row with Controls. Today, I want to cast a vision to the future. Perhaps of no major surprise, but I very much feel that wireless controls in commercial spaces are our future, and even more specifically, network controls that communicate across the entire facility or campus, and even communicate with or integrate with other systems. Now, I'm not trying to say that we won't still have wired controls in the future. There will always be a place for wired controls. But the convenience and overall capability of wireless with simplified installation cannot be overlooked. Now, why do I see this as part of our future? A few observations. One, I've already seen wireless systems with thousands or even tens of thousands of devices in major applications, from commercial buildings to hospitals to airports. Two, in working with microcontroller and radio manufacturers that serve companies in the industrial sector across a wide variety of applications, IoT, or that machine-to-machine -machine communication, is a key growth area with a strong growth rate, and this growth is largely in wireless. And then three, there's the residential influence, meaning influence from our lives at home. So as we get more comfortable with wireless technologies at home, this will continue to spill over and even become the expectation in commercial spaces. And it's hard to say that we're not already comfortable with wireless at home when through a quick online search, I'm able to find a wirelessly connected toothbrush, coffee mug, and even a blender. Now, I don't want to falsely lead everyone into thinking that this wireless transformation will happen overnight. And it will require ongoing investments in wireless technologies. There is, of course, already simplified installation with wireless, and there are other aspects of wireless that need to be evolved to make it as pervasive as wired technologies. But in the end, wireless technologies need to be as robust as wired alternatives. They need to be able to integrate easily to other building systems, and they need to be easily supportable, operating like another set of hands in the field. As these happen, we'll see wireless network controls continue to increase and take over the commercial space. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on Road with Controls.